In this demo, I'm going to show how you can use selection tools for more than the standard uh, ways that we usually use it. We're all used to doing a square selection or even a circle, you know, to select a particular part of the screen or even use the, you know, make an odd shape. But now we're going to learn to do a little bit more. Okay, in this case, I'm going to use the the smart scissors, which are very useful for selecting the edges of something, because it'll figure out the edges. And I'm going to go along there and I'm going to select the sleeve. But when I get to the end of the sleeve, I want to do something to both sleeves at the same time, and I've only selected one sleeve. If I select the other one, the first selection will go away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the smart scissors, and I'm going to go select to add to the current selection, and then I'll use the smart scissors again. And now, when I've selected along the, the lines of the sleeve, and I hit enter to, to accept the, the selection, both sleeves are selected. And so I'm going to colorize those sleeves, just for something to do to show that they, they both happen at the same time. Uh, let's make them uh, a little purple. Or pink, maybe. Purple is good. Okay. So now we select none, and I'm going to try something else, which is I'm going to take the white, which is around the person, so I can isolate the figure. But when I click by color, notice that it selects everything in a shirt that's that same color white. So now I'm going to use my selection tool, and I'm going to change it to delete from the current selection. So now, when I select, and I'll just randomly circle around most of the selected part on his shirt and it'll disappear from the selection. Well, I'll do that a couple more times, maybe see what I can get rid of. Um, on the shoulder, there's still some. So when I finish this, I will have selected away parts that I don't want, and so now I can switch and add a, an alpha layer, alpha channel, and delete, and then I've got my isolated figure. And there's one more selection tool you can use, and I don't have a great use for this, but um, this is the intersection. So if I uh, select a rectangular box around his head, and then I do a circular selection, but which intersects part of that box, the selection that I'll get will be uh, just the intersection between those two. And you can do some fancy selection techniques by intersecting like that. And that's the way you can do more and fancier selections than before. Thank you.